previous tutorials, we've been building this business card and I have a solid color in the background. It's kind of a mustardy kind of color, but it's kind of boring. For a business card, that works really well because it's printing. And printing, the more ink you use, the, the more costly it could be. But we want to learn gradients. So let me show you how to put a gradient in. And on the left-hand side, there's this area called objects, which I already have highlighted. And in the search box, I'm going to type in gradient and spell it correctly. And they have some default gradients. And I can make this bigger and I can have this green. It goes from a purple to a pink or pink to purple. It's kind of cool. And I can do some light editing. So I'm going to delete this because I'm interested in showing you some gradients. If you scroll down below, there's look at these gradients with multi-color, so a rainbow of colors. There's gradients that go from like, there's three different colors or two different colors. And this is the one I want to mess with for this demonstration. So I have this like red to orange gradient. It's a nice gradient that flows real well. And if I click on it, I have the option to change its color. So if I don't like these two colors, I can still use the transparency, but I can kind of select the color that I want. So I want it to be a dark blue and I want it to go to a light blue. And now I have this nice gradient going in here, but I can't see my content. So I can do a couple different things. If I go to move the layer and send it to back, it is now the background layer of my object. But sometimes I don't want to do that. It depends on what you're doing. In this case, this is probably the option I would choose. I would send it to the back. It would be the background of my, and I might even mess around with this a little bit and make this bigger because it's too dark. So depending on how I have my, my shape here is how the gradient is being impacted. So I can adjust this and adjust how dark it is on this side. But the other option, let me bring this back to the front. It's hiding my content. There is a way to make some things transparent here. So if I have this light blue and I want it to be kind of see-through at this point, I can, I want to make sure I'm on it. This level right here is the transparency level. So as I start bringing this down, so I already brought it down and I can already see through it. So maybe I want the overlay. I want it to have this blue tint to it, but I want to be able to see through it. So I can do this to both colors. I don't love this option for this particular object, but this does work well over pictures. So if I had a picture of a, um, a field with lavender flowers, um, I might want to put a purple kind of gradient over that to make those lavender flowers look even more purple and even more um, just stand out. Uh, with the gradient kind of element there. So I would want to put the gradient on top and I would want to bring the transparency down. So it's, you can use a gradient as a background, you can use it as an overlay.